Hey everybody, Greg Meyer, product manager for Breakglaze for Hunter Engineering. I'm at the SEMA show for the Hunter Expo, and we're here to talk about the bench lathe. Our premium bench lathes have always had ACT and Digical on them. They're extremely useful features to make you more productive, make the machine faster and easier to use. But now at SEMA, we're rolling out, this will be coming soon, a tablet interface. You may notice this looks familiar. This is a similar tablet interface as we have on the Ace lathe, the on-car brake lathe. But now we're going to bring it to the bench lathe as well. You may say, why do you need a, an interface like this on a bench lathe? Well, one of the key reasons you need this for is we always need to know what our rotor specs are, the thickness specifications for rotors and drums. So I can now select this vehicle right here at the bench. And after I select the vehicle, in this case I want to do a front rotor, it's going to tell me what the thickness spec is. And that's great, but maybe more importantly is that now I don't even have to be paying attention. And if I was to change my thickness as I'm cutting along, if I get below specification, it's going to turn red for me automatically. So as a technician, I'll immediately know then that this rotor is going to need to be changed out. So in addition, not only do we have this, we have a setup guide built into the tablet, shows you exactly how we can set up different rotors and drums on this machine, as well as training videos and convenient animations that allow the technicians to be more effective and more efficient. Last but not least, this machine will shortly connect to HunterNet 2. Not only is the bench lathe going to connect to HunterNet 2, also the on-car lathe will connect to HunterNet 2 as well. You might say, well, why is it important for a brake lathe to connect to HunterNet. Well, we want to be able to track the productivity in our shop, make sure we know which machine they're using. Are they using the on-car or the bench lathe? So you'll be able to do that by connecting these machines. Thanks for watching.